Wiz IQ Basic Training, Module 217, 217, Media Player, Part 1. Okay, now we're on Media Player. Just a little button, but so powerful. Okay, we're not going to look at the um, YouTube link right now, but that'll be in the second part. What we want to do is um, look at the different things we can grab from right here. Now, we'll be looking at content library pretty quickly, but we have a choice of different types of files. Now, this connects us directly to our content library, but not to our folders. So, there's AVI files. Okay, and this happens to be some videos that I like. I can click on Add, and it brings that into the playlist. Now I can queue it up by telling it to play, and it has to buffer, so I tell it to pause. Um, I can go in here and grab an MP3 file, an audio file. And I think that's enough. Oop, that tried to play right away, didn't it? That's interesting that it didn't wait. Anyway, so that's one thing we can do. Now, if I'm in a video particularly, Let's just look at what the students view looks like. Let's look and see what they they see this big box. I've asked those guys to um, not show this all to everybody. What is it? Why do they need to see that? But or was IQ? They can minimize at their end. All right. But you need to know that they're going to be able to see a lot of the stuff that you see. So if you, if you have private information, be careful because they're going to see everything that's on your desk with this tool. Um, notice that you can hide it from yourself and them both. Let's look at theirs again. Oh, that didn't do it on theirs. That's interesting. Very interesting. That's a bug. Alright. Now let's go back to ours. Let's go into a... I have to open that back up. Let's get a video out. Here's our video. Let's click play. Notice it's buffered now. And I'm going to mute it because we don't need to hear it. But we want to see what the students are seeing. So the first thing we're going to do is take a quick look. What are they seeing? And we just got a message that our time is almost up. They're seeing the same thing as us. Let's go back to their, my screen. This is me again. I'm going to extend the time of this class. That's something we'll look at later. Um, but when I click maximize and I close this and I close this, let's see what they see. Alright. So that no longer works the way they used to. These kind of functions, particularly this video media player, um, they're always working on trying to improve so um, there's going to continue to be some issues but theoretically they can maximize it on their own um, all right now we're back into ours uh, we would use this mute button to we might pause it or be talking over what we're seeing in the video but um, that's the main features of this thing we haven't looked at yet is YouTube video and we're going to look at that in our next video about this media player um, and we also can load things from our content library and we'll look at that during content library but you can do it before class or during class that way you would have access to where your files are at in your folders that you might have set up make it more logical to you I think that's it